I invite you to join me in a moment of prayer and reflection. O Holy One, O Creator, O force of all that is good, we know you in different ways and by different names. We give thanks for our lives and for all that has brought us each here to this moment. We are grateful to the parents, families, faculty, staff, and friends who have helped and supported this group of graduates through the years. We ask for a blessing upon them. May they know their goodness and feel fully in their hearts the joy and celebration of this day. Help them to appreciate their accomplishments and those of their classmates. Help them to value the efforts and contributions that have been made in the classroom, in the many facets of community life, and in the diverse places where this Gould community exists. Be with us now as we come together from everywhere all over the globe to celebrate this joyous moment in the lives of these young people who are known and loved by so many. Amen. It is my honor to welcome you to the 184th Commencement Exercises of Gould Academy. Through the magic of modern technology, we gather today to celebrate the historic class of 2020. Members of the class of 2020, you have reached this milestone day after completing your course of study and taking on all of the challenges and the hurdles that are part of secondary school experience. It's safe to say that while all classes face unique challenges along the way, this spring your class was faced with a challenge unlike any other. In a letter to the community that I wrote in March, I stated that COVID-19 would not define your class, but your response to the challenges dictated by COVID-19 perhaps would influence the definition of your class. All of us are so proud of the spirit and the manner with which you have embraced and overcome the hurdles these past few months have presented. Today marks the occasion when you transition from being an attending student at Gould to becoming a member of the Gould alumni family. For the remainder of your lives, you will share a common bond with all of the graduates of the past and the future. You will forever be a member of the Gould Academy family. Today's ceremony will be similar in some ways to commencement exercises of the past, and in other ways, it will be different. I am confident the celebration will be unique and spectacular. I close my remarks to you this morning with some wishes for your future. I wish that you keep your dreams alive. Remember that you have to have a dream to have a dream come true. I wish that you respect and honor the friendships that you have formed during your Gould Academy years. They will be with you the rest of your life. I wish that you embrace life, enjoy it, live it with passion. I wish that you continue to treat your challenges as opportunities. I wish that you keep in touch with your Gould family and that you return often to campus. It's been my honor to serve as your head of school these past two years, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Good morning, class of 2020. I'm speaking to you from my family's farm in central Maine, about 75 miles away from Bethel. It feels strange not to be looking out at your smiling faces and those of your family, friends, and faculty under a big white tent on the edge of the ball field. Instead, we are sharing the novel experience of Gould's first ever virtual graduation. You are true pioneers. Congratulations on persevering through the pandemic and finishing your studies remotely this spring. On behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, we congratulate and celebrate you and wish you the best as you launch into life's next adventures. And I have the honor and privilege today of introducing you to an excellent role model, our 2020 commencement speaker, Lucas St. Clair. Born in Dover, Foxcroft, Maine, Lucas spent his childhood in a hand-built log cabin in the north woods of Maine with no running water or electricity. He left that lifestyle to attend a wonderful boarding school in the western mountains of Maine. You may have heard of it. 
After graduating from Gould Academy in 1996, he went on to study abroad, pursuing an interest in organic and sustainable food and earning a culinary arts degree at Le Cordon Bleu in London. He launched his career in the restaurant and wine industry in New York City, Maine, and Seattle. In 2011, Lucas took over his family's operating foundation, Elliottsville Plantation Inc., or EPI, which owns 125,000 acres of timberland in northern and central Maine that they have been purchasing and managing for recreation for several years. On the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service, President Barack Obama accepted a gift of 89,000 acres of land from EPI and created the newest unit of the National Park Service, Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument, on August 24, 2016. It was a remarkable accomplishment. Beyond the restaurant industry and land conservation, Lucas has a strong interest in outdoor pursuits. He has hiked the Appalachian Trail, paddled the Northern Forest Canoe Trail, taken a Knowles semester in Patagonia, and climbed peaks in Alaska, Washington, Peru, Chile, and Argentina. He is an avid fly fisherman and has had the great fortune to fish in some of the most beautiful waters in the world. He serves on the National Council for the National Park Foundation, the National Board of the Trust for Public Land, Maine Public, Northern Forest Center, the Maine Conservation Voters, Friends of Katahdin Woods and Waters, and he is a trustee of all of Roxanne Quinby's foundations. He lives in Falmouth, Maine with his wife and two young children. Gould is proud to claim Lucas as an alum. He exemplifies our mission to cultivate independent-minded, ethical citizens who lead lives of purpose, action, excellence, and compassion in a dynamic world. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our very first commencement speaker by Zoom, Lucas St. Clair. Hey Gold, how's everybody doing? Uh, man, this is uh, not as fun as I thought it might be, uh, where we were all going to gather uh, on the upper fields at Gould, and uh, we're going to look out at the mountains and the field house and the green grass and the Adirondack chairs and people's parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters were all going to be there. And now I am standing by my barn under a canoe by myself, uh, delivering a commencement address. Ah, didn't, I didn't think it was going to go like this, but how can I complain? It's, it's just, uh, you know, it's not really my position to complain. All of you, all of you have just worked so incredibly hard the last 12 years of your education to get to this spot and we don't get to do it in person. You don't get to have your grandparents here. You don't get to have your brothers and sisters and moms and dads and aunts and uncles all get together. And that has got to be such an incredible uh, bummer, to, to say the least. But I'm not going to dwell there. Uh, I think what's really most important is that we celebrate the achievements that you all have just made. You're graduating. You're graduating from high school. It's unbelievable. You should be so incredibly proud. Uh, it's it's not easy, believe me. I did it. It took a long time. It was really hard, uh, but it's it's an incredible accomplishment. So first, let me say congratulations. And since I'm not there on the stage, uh, I can be in all kinds of different places uh, to give it this commencement address. So I moved away from my barn, and now I'm in the woods. This is where I like to spend a lot of time. And, you know, I think that you probably all have spent some time in the woods now that you've been at Gould for a while. And it's so incredibly cool that we get to go to high school. We all got to go to high school in this beautiful place. And I hope that was instilled in you is the love for the outdoors and the power of nature to connect us to place, to clear our minds, to build our leadership ability and uh, something that's so incredibly worthy of protecting. We need to take care of all our natural resources. And if we don't, devastating things will happen, not only for 
humankind as we know it. But uh, it also, if we don't have a connection to these outdoor places, it, our minds don't work as well. And we won't have the clarity of thought that we need to solve big problems like what we're facing right now. How do we get along as a world? Uh, uh, those things are, are big challenges and they're going to take big solutions. And if I know one thing to be true, it's being outside in the great, uh, in the great outdoors. That's the ultimate equalizer, brain clearer, and gives us the ability to take on these big challenges. So know that uh, just like in Bethel, for the rest of your lives, uh, when you have those big challenging uh, things in front of you, go, go into the outdoors. It, it'll always help. So I want to share a quick story uh, about something that I'll never forget about Gould. Uh, it was the first day of class. I was a freshman. I came from northern Maine. Uh, I lived uh, in a very rural environment most of my life. I get there as a 14-year-old. My roommate Jackie Chow is from Hong Kong, speaks broken English. I had never met anyone from any other country up to that point. Uh, and now we're living together. And, you know, it's going to take some getting used to for me. And uh, I walked into class, into Hanscom Hall, the first, day of, the first day of class, and the most incredible headmaster that I've ever known is a, is a guy named Bill Clough. He was our headmaster at Gould. And he was standing by the door welcoming students to class. And he reached over and he grabbed the Boston Red Sox, my favorite Boston Red Sox hat, off my head. And he said, oh, you can't wear hats in the, in the academic building. And he took it. And I was devastated. I was like my favorite hat in the whole world uh, but you know as the days went by I forgot about it and then on my graduation day in 1996 uh, we graduated by height and I was the tallest person in my class and as I was walking across the stage uh, the, the, the chairman of the board of trustees gave me my diploma Bill Clough reached out his hand to shake his hand and he stuck his hand up in his graduation robe and he pulled out my Boston Red Sox hat said congratulations and he took off my cap my graduation cap and he put on my Boston Red Sox hat and I have not excluding my parents have not had a group of adults commit themselves to my success for more time for more intense time than I than I did at Gould and so I hope before you leave campus and start this very dramatic next phase of your life that you will get the time to thank your student or your teachers um and actually actually you've all left campus so i i i you're gonna have to find another way to do it but remember the the investment that the academic leaders at gould have taken in in you and the amount of time and energy that goes into educating uh, someone like you and someone like me is, is incredible. I have uh, two young children now uh, and I'm partially responsible for directing their education. So I've learned first and foremost just how difficult it is of a job and how fortunate we all are to have had uh, these, these faculty members in our lives. So thank them. I think it's very important to remember the privilege that you have. The fact that you're graduating from this incredible school in this beautiful place, and you've had these academic advisors and faculty take such close care and attention of you for the last several years uh, is a great privilege. Likely one that you won't get again for the rest of your lives, but remember that you have privilege and that privilege can be used for great good and it also can be used for great harm. And so as you make the choices that you get to make now, uh, remember to make choices for good. Remember to use your privilege in the best possible way you can. Listen clearly, often, as well as you can. I remember a teacher at Gould would tell me all the time, you'll never learn anything while your mouth is moving. You'll never learn anything when you're speaking. What that obviously implies is listen, listen well 
And that's when you'll learn things. That's when your mind will be expanded. That's when you'll truly understand more about other people, other perspectives, other points of view. It'll help you change your mind. It'll help you evolve as a person. So listen as much as you possibly can and do it with great intent. I love this spot in the trail. We've just come down off a ridge and or this floodplain getting closer to the river and see it's a much wider open forest the green of spring is starting to come through on the forest floor a mosquito just landed on the ipad that i'm recording this on spring is here and it feels like some rebirth in in so many ways it's so great to feel uh, the world coming back to life. Although right now it, it feels quite strange. And you, know, you all have the great pleasure of telling people of being the generation that has, has been and will be most affected by the great pandemic of 2020. You all will be part of the recovery and you'll be at the helm as we start to choose which path we decide to go down uh, the world is clearly forever changed and you all will be a part of that change and so take that responsibility seriously uh, understand what needs to be done and and do it with passion and with enthusiasm I don't think there is anything quite as contagious as enthusiasm. And so bring that to your work and to the things that you do going forward. It's, it's, there's a lot to do in front of us. There's, there's a whole lot of challenges and there's a whole lot of, uh, of opportunity that you all will get to be part of, take advantage of. So do it with passion and do it with enthusiasm. Well, thanks for coming on this walk with me. We made it down to the river. It's nice to uh, be outside and uh, celebrating spring with all of you. Um, so I also, I just want to give you such uh, a, a warm virtual embrace and congratulate all of you again for the amount of work that you've all done and uh, the sense of, of completion that you all should have. Uh, it's incredible that you are, have made it this far and you should be incredibly proud of yourselves. I know it's not the same to, to not be able to go out and spend time today and tomorrow with your friends and family celebrating and on and on and on and who knows what the summer is gonna be like. Um, but remember that uh, this is, a, this is a moment of, of real solidarity. Every, everyone in this world is going through the same pandemic. Uh, it, is, it is something that is touching every single person on this planet. And so knowing that, have empathy for the people that you interact with and have compassion for all of the people that you come in contact with, with people that have different thoughts and viewpoints on the world, listen to them. Try to understand them. Try to be as compassionate and thoughtful and empathetic as you possibly can. Use your privilege for great good. And again, congratulations, class of 2020. I hope to see you all in person sometime soon. Take care. Hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew Curtis and I'm very grateful to be speaking on behalf of my Gould class of 2020. First and foremost, I want to thank my parents for giving me such an incredible opportunity to go to school at such a special place. I speak for my entire class when we thank our family and friends who are hopefully sitting next to us sharing this moment. And now, we get to the fun stuff. Mr. Gurki, can I get a, a buffalo? First thing I thought of was this is going to be great. I get to talk about the Bills and hate on the Patriots, and nobody can boo me. 
Don't cut Gil Norcross booing me from across the stage at assembly. Patriots fans, I got two words for you. Jared Stidham just ain't going to cut it. The reality is, is that the Bills in my class of 2020 are actually very similar. We're both about to go dominate next season. So excited. And also, Mr. Green, go Mets. As much as I'd want to sit around and talk about football all day, and believe me, I would, just ask my roommates, I got a graduation to film. So, first I want to start, I want to talk about a story that happened the first week of school that changed my Gould experience forever. It was my first residential rumble. Everyone in Davidson was going crazy. I swear the roof was going to come down. It was about a 15-minute window where there was no faculty on duty, so we could be as loud as we want. A group of seniors coming out of my quad and drag everyone down to the head proctor's room. I didn't have anything orange. One of the seniors from across the room sprints over to me and hands me this hideous orange t-shirt, but I put it over whatever I was wearing anyways. When we stormed out of the upper field, and when I say stormed, I mean in typical D-block fashion, I look out to see a group of pink and black. I see students basically hanging out of windows of the cars and trucks riding down Church Street. For some reason, they were wearing camo and red, and I still don't understand that color scheme today. Being given that t-shirt and standing with my dorm made me feel the importance of student leadership from the student body. There was something about a group of student leaders organizing and involving everyone to do something, no matter who you were or where you were from, but they wanted everyone to come together. Come senior year, I wanted to put the responsibility on myself for being that person handing out the t-shirts or the sweatshirts. I wanted to bring everyone down to my room. I wanted to be the person running up and down the hallways. I need to make sure that everyone felt like they belonged. One thing that I've learned is that everyone, one way or another, finds themselves the little things at Gould. Going out on Junior Four Point, being a part of theater, joining or starting Model UN, late talks with your roommates in the dorm, having a two-hour life-altering conversation with Mr. Leff, or the boys' soccer team finally scoring a goal against Tebron. Shout out Bruce Johnston. It's these obscure parts about Gould that make Gould such a special place. Being handed that orange t-shirt, for me, my first week of school, is what changed me. Yours might have been pink, or orange, or black, or red in camo. Everybody's experience might have been different, but we were all still a part of the Gould community. Gould really is a place where it's a combination of different people with different personalities and different backgrounds from all across the globe. And in some way, somehow, we all come together in the middle of nowhere, Bethel, Maine, to form a community. I remember one time at junior seminar when I was fairly certain they were just trying to waste our time, they asked us what the Gould slogan should be. I said that Gould doesn't turn you into any one person, but Gould turns you into yourself. Now, as corny as that sounds, I believe it to be true. There's no stereotypical Gould student. Your time at Gould is spent finding the building blocks to you as an individual and then build on them to prepare you for the rest of your life. During our class's tenure at Gould Academy, from one year to six year seniors, which I always thought was funny because if you're not from the Gould community and you hear six year senior, it doesn't really come across the same, but that doesn't matter. Our class is presented, has been presented with many challenges and transitions at our time at Gould. Through all of it, I've learned one thing. Our class loves disruption. Our class loves to be told they can't do something. We value that underdog tag. Lastly, as much as sometimes we disliked Gould or hated living in Bethel, this place became our home, and these people became our family. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, you recording? <coughs> and finally, there's a great one. What's sad? Go Bills. Hello class of 2020, family and friends. Although spread across the world, I am happy we can be together in this moment. My name is Cameron Simard, and I am honored to have the opportunity to address you all, celebrating this graduating class's accomplishments despite these unusual circumstances. At Gould, we have learned to adapt and thrive through difficult and uncomfortable situations. Never did any of us think we would be presented a challenge quite like this during a beautiful time of celebration. But, oddly enough, we were prepared. Here in front of me, virtually, are my classmates who have worked long and hard to get to this point, family members and friends, our support system through it all, and other members of the Gould community who watched us with guidance 
evolve into the people that we are today. This day means something to all of us. And my classmates, for as long as we can remember, we have pictured this day, our day. Surrounded by each other under that big white tent, looking off at that beautiful view in the distance that we have been lucky enough to call home. That is where we would have been, together. Although different than we imagined, this time is still just as meaningful because nothing can take away from what we have experienced. This great loss is heavy on all of our minds and hearts for the time being. But when we look back at our time at Gould, I can promise that we will think of far more than what we have missed as the class of 2020, but all that we have gained. From the moment we returned to campus four years ago after orientation, our class was undeniably close. I think many of us can remember our ninth grade year, sitting in the dining hall, packing in as many people to one small table as possible. 10, 15, 20 people, it did not matter. We simply all wanted to be together. From there, we became more and more connected with those around us. Through the ropes course, traveling abroad, missing classes on mountain day, workshops and field trips on sophomore four point, and conversations in our sleeping bags under our tarps on junior four point. We bonded on bus rides to games, on the sidelines with friends, performances on stage, playing frisbee on the fields, at Kowloon in town on the weekends, chairlift rides, bonfires, weekend trips, and getting ready together before formal dinners, winter carnival, snowball, and spring fling. Through the big moments and seemingly smaller ones, we not only learned to adapt and thrive, but we developed a strong connection in our hearts for each other. These last two months have been really difficult, but we have discovered so much about our amazing Gould experience. Winnie the Pooh said it best, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. It's not just the unconventional circumstances that make moving on so challenging, but all of these wonderful memories. It is so hard to say goodbye to the beautiful moments that have been our Gould experience, but these moments are what will stick with us and give us comfort through difficult times. Finding peace and closure will not be easy, but I encourage all of you to not let the times of happiness, growth, laughter, and tears you have experienced at Gould slip your mind. Hold on to them tight as they are what will keep the bond we have created strong for years to come. I am confident that we will all be able to do this. Even through this challenging time, we will not lose touch with each other, and we will find peace and closure in that. I will never forget you all, and I will never forget the four years of memories we share. Most of all, the world will never forget us, class of 2020. Good morning or depending on where you are right now. Good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Before I start, I'd like to shout out to my parents, to all the faculty and staff, my two advisors, Ms. Seaton and Ms. Workers among them, to myself, who is probably watching this with embarrassing face, to all of you in front of the screen in whatever poses you like, and most importantly, I want to shout out to the class of 2020, to those of you who are graduating this year in such unusual circumstances. Thank you all, truly. In our last seminar, Mrs. Riley showed us the freshman four-point videos. It was filled with a blend of amusement and nostalgia. As a three-year senior, I was a bit jealous. And to be honest, I've never been to Beijing, Quanzhou, and Xi'an, not mentioning Tanzania and Ecuador. I guess Gould missed a shot on me in its mission of cultivating globalized citizens. In the next three years, I was dragged and pushed to participate in more stuff. I went out of breath on the mountain, missed shots in soccer games, rode down the woods while learning to ski. All of these are lifetime experiences and have undoubtedly left some marks on me. If the resolution is high enough, you can see one on my forehead. The only shame is it doesn't look like a lightning bolt like Harry Potter has. It in fact looks like a pair of chopsticks. So, as soon as I feel like I should give some insights in graduation, I realize that I don't have any and I'm not good at making any. I don't know which I'm worse at giving, advice on the future which I never experienced or tips for a driving test which I doubt if I can pass this summer. But there's one thing I do know, 
and I have it upon the best authority that I've seen each of my fellow seniors and PGs radiate vivid personalities of their own. And now that we're marching on, in the face of adversity and uncertainty, with the spirit in our heart and the support of families, friends, and the good community at our back. As I was racking my brains for a quote that is profound enough to end my spiel, I got this one. The only success is to spend your life in your own way. I choose it not for the big words in it, but for that I believe all the people I met at Google believe in it, and they exemplify it. That is my greatest takeaway, and I treasure the same as I value my junior four-point bracelet. And here's the hardest part, an ending. I'd like it to end the same way it starts, so I borrow the closing words from The Truman Show. Good morning, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you. Hello, we are live from Bethel, Maine. I'm Assistant Head of School Brad Clark, and this is a beautiful day. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It's your day. Graduating from high school is one of those very special rites of passage to adulthood. I'd like to briefly share the lines of a Simon and Garfunkel song, Bookends, that my friends and I passed around on a dog-eared mixtape on the eve of our high school graduation back in 1985. Bookends. Time it was. And what a time it was. It was a time of innocence, a time of confidences. Long ago, it must be, I have a photograph. Preserve your memories. They're all that's left you. Seeing the looks in all of your eyes during the bagpipe processional made me reflect on the innocence and confidences inside of each of you. My love to you all and safe travels. To thine own self be true. It's now my honor to start the presentation of awards. The Scholarship Shield, presented by the class of 1930, on which is inscribed the name of the valedictorian, the top academic member of the senior class who has been at Gould for the last two years. Can you, Alexia Zhao. Distinguished academic performance. I would like to acknowledge those seniors who have achieved a cumulative average of 90 or above for their years at Gould. Can you, Alexia Zhao. Laura Catherine Wilson. Madison Amanda Lieblind. Taylor Rebecca Mull. Lillian Frida Drew. Amelia Jo McMillan. Lilu Alice Yu. Cameron Lily Samard. Caroline Elizabeth. Newell, Drew, Buffalo, Curtis, Isabel, Marie, Chase, June, Sylvia, Shi, Xu Yang, Jerry, Xu, Annabelle, Catherine, Darby, Max, Ethan, Paris, Sophie Hélène Laurence, Hunter Bernard, Kenneth Austin Colby, Isaiah Osborne, Kaya Sylvia Alford, Xingwan Russell Zhang, Samuel 
Wadsworth, Erickson. Stephanie Randolph Ordway. Min Sung Kim. Jada Michelle Tamalunis. Yanki Frank Chen. It is now my honor to introduce head of school, Chris Karicki. Thank you, Dr. Clark, and congratulations, class of 2020, the Cum Laude Society. In 2014, Gould Academy was granted a charter with the Cum Laude Society. The society was founded in 1906 to recognize scholastic seniors in secondary schools. The object of the Cum Laude Society is to promote learning and sound scholarship. At this time, I would like to announce the names of the senior class members of the Gould Academy Cum Laude Society. Lillian Drew, Madison Liebline, Amelia McMillan, Taylor Mull, Laura Wilson, Han Yu, Alexia Zhou, Elizabeth Isabel Chase, Sof Sophie Lawrence, and you'll have to excuse me for a second because my page went blank. I believe I ended with Lawrence, Carolyn Newell, June Sylvia Shi, Cameron Samard, Lilu Alice Yue. It is now my honor to introduce Katie Stack, the chair of the Humanities Department. Thank you, Mr. Gricky. Good morning and congratulations to the class of 2020. I hope you are all taking today to revel in your accomplishments and I'm proud of you and I'm gonna miss you dearly. So I chose to set up in this room today um, because when, in the future, I'm going to immediately think of these two individuals who are going to be awarded the um, book awards in the humanities today. Um, when I think of this room and I'm in this space. So first I want you to pretend it's like 8 p.m. ish on a weekend, weekday night, um, Brody's sitting in the corner, probably doesn't have shoes on. Finn's dozing in the other corner. Nick Shuba is definitely not gaming. Um, Steffi's singing, there's snacks out. They're not uh, leave no trace snacks, but um, things are happening in this room. It's boisterous, it's loud. Um, and it definitely gets people's attention when they're on duty in the library. How anybody got any work done here, I don't know, but um, somehow you all did. So on the behalf of the Humanities Department, I'm proud to present these two individuals with book awards. First, um, Laura Wilson receives the award in English for her dedication to the subject and her unbelievable scholarship. So congratulations, Laura. In history, the award goes to Sophie Lawrence for her insight, her willingness to pursue challenge and engagement in meaningful research. So congratulations to Sophie. Congratulations, ladies, and these awards are well-deserved. I would now like to pass the screen over to Peter Southam, Chair of the STUN Department. Good morning. Um, it's very exciting to be here for commencement this year, a little bit different, but, you know, uh, science, technology, we move forward, so here we are. Um, so this year I have four awards to uh, present in the STEM Department. The STEM department is new this year. Uh, it's a combination of math, science, computer science, and the Ideas Center. Um, so I'll start right in. Uh, it's, so in the, this year in the STEM department, the math award goes to Max Hessinger. Uh, it's my distinct pleasure to present um, Max with the math award. He has a great interest in mathematics, in particular how it connects to economics and the investment markets. Um, he pursued an independent study in mathematics this year. He's completed all of the regular offerings in the department by the end of his junior year. Congratulations, Max. The STEM award in science goes to Alexia Zhao. We've already heard from Alexia um, today. Um, and I would say with her quiet intensity, powerful intellect, and enigmatic smile, 
Alexia has distinguished herself as an outstanding student of science, excelling in physics and mathematics during her time at Gould. The next award in the STEM department is the Computer Science Award. And this year, the Computer Science Award goes to Sophie Lawrence. Sophie has put her tremendous energy and creative ability to work in our programming course this year, developing strong projects and showing a true talent in programming. Sophie also pursued her senior four-point project at the MIT Media Lab, one of the top computer and media labs in the world. And finally, for the STEM department, the Innovators Award. This year, the Innovator Award goes to Austin Colby. Austin has worked in our Ideas Center this year to develop into an outstanding computer-aided design developer, working on a variety of impressive projects. Congratulations, Austin. Congratulations to the class of 2020, and have a great summer. Uh, next, coming up, uh, Adam Leff, Chair of the World Languages Department. On behalf of the World Languages Department, I'm proud to offer the French, Mandarin, and Spanish Book Awards this year to three very deserving individuals. It's with great pleasure that I present the Senior Book Award in French to Cameron Samard. I'm privileged to offer the Senior Book Award in Mandarin to Min Sung Kim. It's my distinct pleasure to present this year's Senior Book Award in Spanish to Madison Liebline. And now, Kip Green, Chair of the Visual and Performing Arts Department. Thank you, Adam. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today to introduce the award winners for the Visual and Performing Arts. Uh, this year, the Theater Award goes to Stephanie Ordway. The Award for Technical Theater goes to Caroline Newell. The Book Award for the Visual Arts Senior goes to Dylan Rivard. And the Art Department Purchase Award goes to, if you'll give me one minute, I'll share my screen so we can all see the, the work of art. Can we see that? That's not it. I knew this would happen. Go to Can we see that? Okay. That is Annabelle Darby's piece. Uh, that is a very large painting. It is uh, approximately three foot tall and four and a half feet wide. It's a, it's a combination, as you can see, it's a mashup of uh, different logos that, that Annabelle painted over probably a, a month and a half, two month period. So congratulations, Annabelle. And let me unshare my screen. I also will be giving the Rhode Island School of Design President's Award. The Rhode Island School of Design established its annual art award in 1984. Each year, a select number of secondary schools with noteworthy programs in the arts are invited by RISD's president to nominate an accomplished artist in the senior class to receive this distinction. Teachers are asked to consider several criteria in making their nomination, including the student's overall effort and achievement in their arts, their overall academic achievement, their creativity, and their talent. And this year, I'm proud to announce that that award goes to Russell Zhang. The Gail A. Foster Award. Gail A. Foster was an instructor at Gould Academy. He taught photography, physics, and operated the camera club. As a photographer, he had gained an international reputation. This award to his memory was given by Martin Bovey, class of 46, one of his students who is currently a professional photographer. This award is given to the student who has exhibited the most outstanding work in photography this year. And that award goes to Gil Norcross. And my final award, 
the Ralph Gould Music Award, awarded to the graduating senior for improvement, excellence, and contribution to the school in the area of music. The Ralph Gould Music Award consists of a token gift, an invitation to select and present to the Academy some relevant and useful in academic or extracurricular music. The recipient of the award this year is Isabel Chase. Congratulations to you all. And now I'd like to introduce uh, Brett Schifrin. It is my pleasure to uh, give the NGPF Personal Finance Student of the Year Award. This award is a $500 scholarship awarded to a student for their outstanding contributions to their personal finance class. The recipient of the award this year is Sala Miller. And now I am proud to give it back to uh, head of school, Chris Gricky. Thank you. Outstanding senior athletes. Female, the Francis High Berry Award. Named in honor of High Berry, who taught at Gould from 1957 to 1978, and for many years coached the girls' basketball and softball teams. As a coach, he worked to instill teamwork, good sportsmanship, and pride in playing for the school. Given each year to the senior girl who has exhibited outstanding competitive spirit, leadership by example, and overall competence in athletics. The recipient of the award this year is Madison Liebline. Joe Roderick Award. Joe Roderick taught physical education at Gould for 29 years. In addition, he coached football and acted as a trainer for all sports. His encouragement and enthusiasm for athletes were a positive influence on many Gould graduates. Given each year to the boy who has exhibited outstanding competitive spirit, leadership by example, and overall competence in athletics. The recipient of the award this year is Drew Curtis. It's my pleasure to introduce Kurt Samard, the director of the On Snow program. Hello, uh, it's my honor to do the William P. Clough III Award. Um, never thought I would be doing it in my garage, in my swim trunks, but uh, we need to adapt. Uh, I had the pleasure of working with Bill my first time at Gould. It was a true honor, and so it's uh, certainly an honor to do this award today. Uh, Bill Clough was headmaster of Gould Academy 1983 to 2001. This award was created upon his retirement to recognize an on-snow athlete who has demonstrated outstanding character, attitude, and leadership. The recipient of the award this year is Hunter Bernard. And uh, congrats to all the class. Look forward to seeing you down the road. And I'm passing it on to Mr. Newell. Good morning. I get to the privilege of uh, awarding the Gould Academy Alumni Association Award. The Alumni Award is presented by vote of the faculty to a student who is a son or daughter, grandson or granddaughter of a Gould Academy alumnus or alumna, and who best reflects the high standards of the Gould Academy Alumni Association and the school's motto, to thine own self, be true. This year, I'm blessed because the award winner, I get to make this uh, presentation in person. Uh, and it is with uh, great honor that I can present this award this year to Caroline Elizabeth Newell. Oh boy. Uh, next up, uh, Mrs. Betsy Riley, uh, academic skills teacher. Thank you, Mr. Newell. That was very exciting and heartwarming. I am announcing the Senior Point Award. It is awarded to the senior whose project best exemplifies the three values at the heart of any Gould endeavor. The energy to try, willingness to risk, and capacity to tolerate. And you all did this year. The award is presented this year to Lillian Drew. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce Rob Manning, Dean of Student Life. Good afternoon. I'm here to present the Jan and Lorenzo Baker Award. 
Jan and Lorenzo Baker devoted 35 years to Gould Academy, challenge, challenging students to be courageous and open to the world around them. Art department head Jan Baker inspired students to explore new per perspectives and techniques for artistic expression. Dean of Community Life, Lorenzo Baker, helped students become strong individuals and leaders within their community. The Jan and Lorenzo Baker Award is bestowed upon a member of the senior class who best exemplifies the qualities that the Bakers fostered. Personal courage, an adventurous and creative approach, and a clear vision of themselves and their world. I am pleased to announce that this year's award goes to Isabel Chase. It is now my privilege to introduce Brad Clark, as his Assistant Head of School for Teaching and Learning. The Owinga Citizenship Award. Named for Marvin T. Owinga, history teacher at Gould for 30 years, and his wife, Tinica Owinga, French teacher also for 30 years. This scholarship is awarded to a member of the Gould student body who embraces the spirit in which the Owingas lived their life through acts of selflessness and thoughtful humanitarianism. The recipient of the Owinga Citizenship Award is Cameron Samard. Congratulations, Cameron. The Annie Daly Corshane Award. This award, given in memory of Annie Daly Corshane, class of 1986, celebrates the spirit of student involvement in social, political, and environmental causes. The award is in two parts, a monetary contribution to a cause in which Annie believed in and worked for, and an inscribed cup presented to a Gould Academy student who reflects Annie's determination to make the world a better place. The recipient of the award this year is Stephanie Ordway. Congratulations, Stephanie. The Linwood Lindy Lowell Award. Lindy Lowell worked as a maintenance worker at Gould for over 30 years, always with a smile, a kind word, or a helping hand for anyone in need. By vote of the senior class, the Lindy Lowell Award is given to that member of the senior class whose friendly personality and helpful nature has brightened the lives of their fellow classmates and the Gould community. I am pleased to announce that this year's recipient is Brody Guklowski. Congratulations, Brody. Finally, the Melmac Principal Scholarship. This $1,500 scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who has made the difference in the lives of others and that of his or her community. A solid school citizen involved in extracurricular activities, a student who has exhibited a commitment to public service, an individual with the potential to make a difference in the world. This award goes to Lillian Drew. Congratulations, Lily. And now back to head of school, Chris Garicki. Thank you, Dr. Clark. Nuri. The town of Nuri presents a monetary gift to each of the graduating seniors who are full-time residents. This year's recipients are Dylan Rivard and Cameron Samari. The Elwood F. Ireland Awards. The late Elwood F. Ireland, headmaster of Gould Academy from 1940 to 1959, created an award upon his retirement, which went to the boy and girl of the senior class who exemplify service, leadership, and character. I am pleased to announce that by faculty of the vote, the award this year goes to Sala Miller and Jacob Plummer. The Headmaster's Bowl. Awarded to the senior who has exhibited the highest standards of scholarship, character and service to the school, and participation in activities of the school. This year, the Headmaster's Bowl is awarded to Drew Curtis. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the awarding of the diplomas for the historic class of 2020. Joe, hon, you, Alexia Joe. 
It's my pleasure to award you your virtual Gould Diploma. It's been so fun working with you and I am really going to miss you next year. Congratulations and good luck. I am so excited and so proud and I feel like I've been waiting forever and ever to say this name. Kaya Sylvia Alford. Cecil Ruth Anderson, I'm so incredibly proud of everything that you've accomplished at Gould. In the two short years I've known you, I've watched you transform into a curious, passionate, adventurous young woman that's ready to conquer the world. You brought so many laughs to the advisory that will be remembered forever, and there was never a dull moment when you were around. Oakley is going to miss all of your cuddles, walks, late night paper writing, and especially laying with you to help reduce stress. I can't wait to see what you do at Denison. I love you, Cease. Oaks and I are going to miss you. Miles Burroughs Barrett, it is my honor to present you with your Gould Academy Diploma. Congratulations. I'm so proud of everything you've done and who you've become. And I'm really grateful for our time together. Thank you, Miles. Hunter Thomas Bernard, it all started here for you at Gould Academy. You impressed us on the hill, but you impressed us in other places as well. You were a leader in your community and in Davidson Dorm. You impressed us with your thirst for knowledge. You impressed us with your ability to reflect and ask yourself tough questions. Hunter Thomas Bernard, it's my honor to present you with your 2020 diploma. Ella Catherine Blair, I am so honored and humbled you have asked me to present your diploma today. Thank you. You have an indomitable spirit. In the years that I've known you, you've overcome many challenges and nothing, not even a broken femur kept you down. Your strength and courage pairs beautifully with your deep sense of kindness and compassion. You're a part of our family, and we are blessed that Eleanor has you as a big sister to play with, learn from, and love. Congratulations, Ella. Go get them, lady. It's my honor and pleasure to award my daughter, Isabel Marie Chase, her Gould Academy High School Diploma. Congratulations, Izzy. It is my honor and my privilege to present Yenshi Frank Chen with his diploma. As his advisor and his teacher, I have appreciated the opportunity to work with Frank and I wish him all the best in his future. Congratulations, Frank. Zehao Zach Chen, it's my honor and privilege to present to you your diploma from Gould Academy. Stay true to yourself, be happy, and congratulations. Hello everyone, on behalf of Gould Academy, I am here to award Kenneth Austin Colby his diploma with the graduating class of 2020. Austin, you're a man of curiosity, intellect, and hopeful spirit. You all are always looking for a deeper understanding from what you're learning. To that, you've also understood and come to learn that sometimes life is a helmet sport. Take everything that you've learned here at Gould and about yourself and run with it. Tui Jing Huan, Tracy Tui. I'm delighted to give you your virtual Gould diploma. I've really enjoyed working with you and I look forward to seeing what you do next. Congratulations and good luck. On behalf of Gould Academy, I am honored to award a diploma to the class of 2020 to Drew Curtis. There you go, Drew. You've done it all here, Drew. Captain of two sports, head prefect, comp alpine ski racer. You inspire people and people love to be around you. Maybe it's the freckles on your face, or your very contagious smile, or perhaps the, your deep loyalty to the Buffalo Bills. But Drew, you stand out, and you're not afraid to stand tall. So keep that spirit inside of you. Good luck. All right, Congratulations. let's go Buffalo. Here we come. <laughs> go, Drew. Woohoo! AB, when you arrived on campus as a shy seventh grade ski racer, none of us could have imagined how you would evolve. You have become a confident person, artist, and intellectual. Annabelle Catherine Darby, we are so proud to present you with a Gould Academy Diploma Class of 2020. You're the best. We will miss you. We love you. Congratulations. Sam Cooper Owen Dickinson. Sam, we're very excited, pleased, and honored to present this diploma to you on this wonderful day. I know circumstances are not as you imagined necessarily, but we've loved watching you learn, hosting you in our home, and being a part of your family. Congratulations, and we wish you the very, very best in 
your next endeavors. It is my honor and my privilege to present you, Lillian Frieda Drew, with your diploma. My daughter, my student, my friend, I'm incredibly proud of you, and I know that an amazing future awaits you. Congratulations, Lily. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Samuel Wadsworth Erickson, I'm so happy to be able to present to you your diploma from Gould Academy. It has been an incredible year getting to know you and watching you grow and get ready for college next year. And I can't wait to hear how much you continue to grow and develop into the human you want to be over the next four years of college. Chase Fu Bin, congratulations on earning your Gould Academy diploma. We miss you and we're so proud of you. Thank you for sharing the last three years with us. Congratulations, Chase. We are proud to present this diploma to Maya Mary Garfield. Maya, you are an incredible student, athlete, role model, sister, and friend. Maya, it's been amazing to watch you grow and develop over the last four years and to become the individual you are. We know that you have the foundation for success. And that you'll just to continue to build on everything you have already accomplished here at Gould. Congrats, Maya. Congrats. Can you blow Maya a kiss? Brody Yannick Goklowski, it is my honor and privilege to present you with your Gould Academy Diploma. I am so grateful for our last four years together and I'm so proud of you and who you've become. Thank you so much and congratulations. Wendell Dudley Harmer, it is my honor to present to you your diploma from Gould Academy. Tim and I have been so lucky to have you as part of our little family this year at Gould. You've grown into a very outgoing, social, and strong young man and I can't wait for you to pursue your college degree as well as being a strong member of your ROTC program over the next few years. Good luck. Gould Academy, graduation 2020. It is my great pleasure to present Maxwell Von Hessinger with his diploma. It is my great honor and my great pleasure to present Gould Academy's diploma to Zeyu Jack Jin. Jirikit Earth Kanapthit Fayakun. I'm so happy to present to you your diploma from Gould Academy. You're such a smart young man and we are so grateful for everything you've taught us about you, your culture, and your family. I can't wait to hear how school goes next year. Congrats. Min Sung Kim, it is with great pleasure that I present you with your diploma. I've had the wonderful opportunity to know and to watch you grow into a hardworking, kind-hearted and dedicated young man in the dorm and on the fields. Your respectful, witty and compassionate demeanor have allowed you to lead by example throughout your time at Gould and you are sure to find great success in the future. Min, congratulations. I'm honored to present this Gould Academy diploma to Uni Esther Lang. Esther, it's been great working with you over the last three years as a student in my class, watching you perform as a musician, and working with you as an advisee. I know you do great things in college. Please come back to visit us soon in Bethel, and congratulations. It is my distinct honor to present this Gould Academy diploma to Sophie Hélène Laurence. We are both so proud of all you have accomplished here at Gould. You have done remarkable work in and out of the classroom and have grown into a wonderful young person ready to make her mark on the world. We will both miss you so very much and want you to know that you always have a home here in Bethel and we can't wait to hear of your adventures at the next level. Toutes nos félicitations. Félicitations, Sophie. Nous sommes très, très fiers de toi. On behalf of Gould Academy, we are proud to present this diploma to Eric Lee from Beijing, China, class of 2020. Eric, here we are on Lollapalooza, the scene of one of our favorite memories with you when we slept out all night up top on the observation deck, skied down to breakfast in the morning. Eric, you are a good friend. You have a fun sense of humor and an excellent sense of style. We wish you all the best and please keep in touch. Congratulations, Congratulations Eric. Eric. <laughs> We are honored to present this Gould Academy Diploma to Madison Amanda Liebline. You are a caring, kind-hearted person who is a focused student athlete. It has been great to watch you grow and flourish into a young person who possesses a strong, clear voice. 
Your sweet upbeat personality turned our advisory into a family and we will miss you dearly. But do you know that we will always have a pint of ice cream in the freezer? And hope that you will visit us and catch us up on all you accomplish. Maddie, Maddie congratulations. Tena Matza, it has been our complete pleasure to get to know you over the past years and we are proud to present you with your Gould Academy Diploma. You are a young person with a distinct point of view and we can't wait to see where your journey leads. Regardless of where you end up, we are sure you will need waiters and a fly rod. Congratulations. Tanner, Tanner we're, we're going to miss you. you. Finian James McLaughlin. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Okay, let's go back in the port. Hello everyone. Today I have the privilege of awarding a diploma to my advisee, four point companion, softball player, and friend. This young lady is athletic, authentic, caring, driven, determined, intelligent, and strong. It is my honor to award Amelia Jo McMillan with her diploma from Gould Academy. Congratulations, girl. Love you. On behalf of Gould Academy, we are honored to present a 2020 diploma to Sala Ray Miller of Wyoming and the world. Sala, you've lived in four continents, seven countries. You brought your engaging smile and your happy spirit to brighten our days for four years here at Gould Academy. Thank you. Sala, continue to live life with passion, cherish spontaneity, value tradition, work hard, and be spunky. Congratulations, Sala. Nice job, Sala. <laughs> Taylor Rebecca Moll, you are a special person that we have come to know so well over the past four years, be it baking cakes, repairing crepes, or sharing the, light, the late night bowl of ice cream. You have a balance at your core. You're focused on how you can help others, and you have the determination and drive to accomplish all your goals. We will miss you dearly and can't wait to see what you will achieve at the next level. For all of these reasons and many more, we are honored to present you with your Gould Academy Diploma. Taylor, Taylor congratulations. congratulations. I am very pleased to present a Gould Academy Diploma to the kind-hearted and thoughtful Ig Denayo. Ig, congratulations. Hello everyone. This is a picture of Caroline and I taken during new student orientation before her freshman year. It is amazing to see in four years how far she has come. Caroline, we love you, we think the world of you, and we can't wait to see what you do next. We love you very much. Caroline Elizabeth Newell. Richard Norcross. It is my privilege to present to you your Gould Academy Diploma. I wanna thank you for the energy you bring to the experiences we've shared. Tight lines go. I am pleased and proud to present a Gould Academy diploma to Stephanie Randolph Ordway. Steffi, you performed and entertained us for so much of your time here at Gould Academy that I wanted to be able to present your diploma right here in the room where it happened. Congratulations. On behalf of Gould Academy, I present this diploma to Isaiah Osborne, class of 2020, Gould Academy. Congratulations, Isaiah, good job. From the time we met during your tour, I knew you were a perfect Gould guy. We confirmed it on that revisit day hike with your dad up Buck's Ledge. You came here, you learned your way around, you found out about the wilderness and how it affects you and how you can help other people enjoy it with your academic and out of school passions. Keep going, good job, congratulations, Isaiah. Hi there, Coach Gray here. Present Max Ethan Perrys with his Gould Diploma. Max, everyone at Gould is super proud of you. I know your mom and dad are super proud of you as well. We all look forward to seeing what you can do in the future. Congratulations. It's my pleasure to be here today to congratulate Jake Plummer on his high school graduation. Jake came to my advisory two years ago and it's been nothing but a pleasure to work with ever since. We're gonna miss him a lot. Stetson University is very lucky to have him. Congratulations, Jake. Dylan Christopher Rivard, I am very honored that you chose me to hand you your virtual diploma. You've been an awesome student. I've really enjoyed having you in all my classes, and I know you're going to be a famous automobile designer. 
and I know I will see your work in major magazines and on the road. You've got nowhere to go but up. Hey, then Michael Ryan, we have come to know you well as you first studied classes with me six years ago. You are daring, fearless, and enjoy speed on the mountain, be it on your bike or on your skis. You wear your heart on your sleeve and have a kind and gentle soul. We can wait to learn of your adventures coming your way. It is with great pleasure and pride that we present to you your Gold Academy Diploma as part of the class of 2020. Aiden, Aiden congratulations. congratulations. Chen Cheng Yi. Congratulations, Johnny. Keep tickling those ivories. Jun Chi, who we know as Sylvia, it has been an honor and a privilege to have been your advisor, your teacher, and also your co-curricular leader. This school will remember you for a very long time because of your passion, your dedication, and your ambition. During yearbook, I jokingly referred to you as the chairwoman, but in all honesty, I have no doubt that you're going to go on to some amazing leadership positions in college and in your life beyond. I just have one request. Please do stay in touch because we all want to see the heights you'll reach. What an honor it has been to work with Cami for the last four years. She has added so much to the Gould community and to our advising group. Cameron, Lily, Samard, we are so proud to present you with a Gould Academy Diploma for the class of 2020. You are wonderful. We will miss you. We love you. Congratulations. Hello, Husky Nation. Gould Academy graduation 2020. I'd like to present Nicholas Shuba with his diploma. Thank you. Go, Nick. Jada Michelle Tamalunas. It's with great honor and pleasure that I present to you your diploma from Gould Academy. Always remember who you are, stay courageous, and be well. Congratulations. Lila, I'm sure that when you signed up for A Push, you never imagined that in a classroom setting, you would learn and grow so quickly. You have become a confident young woman with a strong voice. I have no doubt you will find success in whatever you choose to do. I am so proud, Lila Emily Thompson, to present you a Gould Academy Diploma for the class of 2020. You are talented, smart, and I will miss you. Congratulations. Emin Lewis Wakefield, it is with great pleasure that we present you with your Gould Academy Diploma. You are a very special person who is quintessentially honest and who lives in accordance with his integrity. Over the past four years, we have grown to respect you for your kindness, your faithfulness, and loyalty to your friends. We are so happy that you have chosen to continue your journey down the road in Lewiston next year. And I hope that you have a good appetite as I'll be checking in on you often and taking you out for breakfast. Eamon? Congratulations. This next student is a deep thinker whose current eccentricities will surely lead her on to wisdom. Laura Catherine Wilson. Chu Shu Young. Chicago Jerry, congratulations. And don't put down that saxophone. Chu Chen Zhe, Kevin Shu. It is an honor to award you your virtual Gould Diploma. Advisory is not going to be the same without you next year. I hope you keep in touch. Congratulations and good luck, buddy. It's my honor and my privilege to present Lilu Alice Yue, her diploma. As her advisor and her teacher, I couldn't be more proud of this incredible young woman, and I know she'll do amazing things. Congratulations, Alice. It's a pleasure to be here today to congratulate the lovely uh, Jingyuan Russell Zhang on his high school graduation. Russell came to us uh, years ago as a member of the summer program here at Gould Academy and now he's going to be leaving us to join what I believe is the finest art school in the world, School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Congratulations Russell.
graduates, faculty, friends, and families. May the road rise to meet you on your journey. May the wind be always on your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rain fall soft upon your fields. And until your journey's end, may you be safe, sustained, and courageous of heart. Amen. It's not time, make a change, just relax, take it slowly, you're still young, that's your fault, there's so much you have to know, find a girl, settle down, if you want, you can marry, look at me, I am old, but I'm happy. I was once like you are now And I know that it's not easy to be calm When you found something going on Take your time, think a lot Why think of everything you've got Or you will still be here tomorrow But your dreams may not How can I try to explain When I do he turns away again It's always been the same Same old story From the moment I could talk I was ordered to listen Now there's a way And I know that I have to go away I know I have to go not time make a change just relax take it easy you're still young that's your fault there's so much you have to do find the girl settle down if you want you can marry look at me i am old but i'm happy Oh